student today we will learn the chapter probability and probability distribution part 5 now students you have already learned so many things in the previous part now i am want to tell you about the probability and probability distributions so before going this i want to be come some statics part in statics you have learned something this way let you want to be given a table x and f f is frequency 2 3 4 frequency is 5 3 2 and you want to be guide you want to be no we have to find the value of mean and variance and standard deviation in statics not i am talking about the probability in statics how you can find the mean variance and standard deviations so we are going to be solving this to revise this formula in statics okay so we can solve this way write the first table x then f and x are 2 3 4 5 3 2 Two, two, three, four, five, three, two. Now getting the n equal to sigma f five plus three plus two is ten. So for mean, you know the formula sigma f x upon sigma f. Here table of f x is five into two that is ten. Three into three that is nine. 2 into 4 is 8 so sigma fx is 10 plus 9 plus 8 that is 27 so here answer is 27 upon 10 is 2.7 okay now for variance you can use this formula sigma fx square upon sigma f minus sigma fx upon sigma f whole square okay so what is the x square that is 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 and fx square is 5 into 4 20 3 into 9 27 and 2 into 16 32 and you are getting sigma fx square that you can add this that is 9 89 so you can put here the value and solve it that is 89 upon 10 minus you have already solved this one that is 2.7 2.7 square sigma fx upon sigma f that is the mean also so you are getting here 8.9 minus 27.27 square that is you can get the squaring this Seven point two nine. Okay, and subtracting this, you can find your answer. <coughs> you can check it. It is twenty-seven. Now, subtracting this, you can find it. Uh,
right so this way you can find the standard deviation is under root variance that is under root 0.61 so i am explaining this standard deviation mean variance since when we go through the probability distribution we have to find it again using this formula okay so now i am coming to next things now probability distributions is described for exclusive and exhaustive event only probability distribution is described for exclusive and exhaustive event only and these are this we will learn by bernoulli's and by binomial okay probability distribution we will learn about the bernoulli's and by binomial first we will learn about this topic okay now let a coin let a let two coin are tossed what you get as sample space h h h t t h and t t here is n s equal to 4 okay now let x is an event of coming hat and it is probability of this event now you can see head comes up zero times or one times or two times you can see head comes up zero times here and head comes up one times and what comes up two times in in assembly space you can see now what is the probability of head comings up zero times that is tail tail so that is probability is 1 by 4 here head coming up one times that is h t and t h that is 2 by 4 and two head that is here we can see 1 by 4 now you can see sigma p e at this 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 so sigma p e is 1 okay and this is the probability distribution table according to bernoulli this is the probability distribution table according to bernoulli now uh, elaborate this we can find here this way x zero times head one times head two times head and probability of this is <coughs> we are getting here zero and that is 1 by 2 One by four, one by two, and one by four. Sigma p e equal to one. Okay. This can be write here two by four. So adding of the one plus two plus one four four upon four, you can write easily. And this is a probability distribution table according to Bernoulli. okay probability distribution table according to bernoulli okay now you can see some of these probability is always 1 and this is not the negative term and also this is less than 1 if it is negative or sum is not 1 or it is greater than 1 then it is not a probability distribution table okay now in this table this is just like as a frequency it is just like as a frequency okay it is just like as a frequency so if we want to be find the same things mean and 
वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशंस तो इट इज जस्ट लाइक द फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके सो टू फाइंडिंग द मीन वी हैव टू यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला दैट इज सिग्मा एफ एक्स अपॉन सिग्मा एफ एक्स बट हैव वर्क एज पी प्रोबलिटी एंड सिग्मा एफ इज ऑलवेज वन सो वी कैन से यूजिंग द मीन द फॉर्मूला इज सिग्मा पी एक्स अपॉन सिग्मा पी सिग्मा पी इज इक्वल टू वन सो पी वर्क एज फ्रिक्वेंसी वी कैन से पी एज डिनोटेड एट एफ तो सिग्मा पी इक्वल टू सिग्मा एफ इक्वल टू वन ओके इन फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल पी वर्क एज फ्रिक्वेंसी सो वट इज द सिग्मा पी एक्स एंड सिमिलरली वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द वेरियंस तो वेरियंस फॉर्मूला इज सिग्मा पी एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन सिग्मा एफ मीन्स वन नाउ सिग्मा पी एक्स ओके होल स्क्वायर नाउ स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन इज अंडर रूट वेरियंस नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस फॉर्मूला इफ यू पुट पी इक्वल टू एफ सिग्मा पी इक्वल टू सिग्मा एफ इक्वल टू वन ओके नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स देन वी हैव टू लेबरेट दिस नाउ एक्स पी एक्स इज जीरो वन टू हैट कमिंग्स ऑफ टू टाइम्स दिस वन इज प्रॉबर्टी इज वन बाई फोर टू बाई फोर वन बाई फोर सिग्मा पी इज वन नाउ पी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इंटू वन बाई फोर जीरो वन इंटू टू बाई फोर टू बाई फोर एंड टू इंटू वन बाई फोर टू बाई फोर सिग्मा पी एक्स इक्वल टू टू बाई फोर प्लस टू बाई फोर फोर बाई फोर इज वन सो मीन इज सिग्मा पी एक्स इक्वल टू वन इट इज योर आंसर ओके नाउ फॉर वेरियंस वी कैन इलेट दिस एक्स स्क्वायर सो वी कैन जीरो वन स्क्वायर इज वन टू स्क्वायर इज फोर नाउ पी एक्स स्क्वायर वन बाई फोर इंटू जीरो इज जीरो टू बाई फोर इंटू वन इज टू बाई फोर वन बाई फोर इंटू फोर is 1 so now sigma p x square is 2 by 4 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 okay so now using variance formula equal to sigma p x square minus sigma p x whole square sigma p x square is 3 by 2 minus sigma p x is 1 square so we are getting take the lcm that is equal to 1 by 2 okay student take the lcm here now standard deviation is under root variance That is under root one by two. It is root two upon two. So this way you can use the formula to find in the mean variance and standard deviation by Bernoulli's. Okay, student. Now in this part five, we elaborate this only. Bernoulli's theorem, Bernoulli distribution table, and in the next part we will describe about the Bernoulli binomial, binomials distribution table. Okay, so. You have to wait for them. Thank you.